Alright guys, this is my first look at Greystone by Large H Mapping. And we'll see what it looks like. First time seeing it after the rundown. Uh, I can't remember who did that about what it is. And I thought it'd be a great map to do some small farming. I know they said that dairy cows are not done here very often, but who said we couldn't do it? Now that comes all together, and that might have to change, in my opinion. And all those little spaces come together. There's little dots here and there that are not viable. I don't think they are. We'll have to do a drive around here real quick and look at a few locations. I did not fully watch that preview, but I think what we'll do is buy a truck here and go off and look at everything. Those mega caps? All right, let's go check what this is. Oof. I like black. Done. Yes, sir. Let's just deck this one all out for video purposes here. Ooh, painted looks awesome. Dang, accessories too. I'm gonna leave that off, don't need that. Got a nice drop hitch, gooseneck. I wonder if we can't get plow to plow a fifth wheel, good snack. Can we get them all? I don't even remember where I got this truck from. Alright, we're going to leave it of this and probably tuned all right i don't like edges edge programmers but we're gonna leave it we're gonna go with that oh there's even a topper we don't need to worry about that do rims even change no they do not all right I'll just lease it for now, for video purposes again. All right, let's see where we jump into this at. That slapped us up here. So, a lot of these fields come with some groups. I'm interested to see what that is, but it comes with all this other stuff, so I'm not 100% sure. But, right, I forgot to change all my game settings too. I mean, the fields look small. They can produce quite a bit. looking for a spot to either build a farm or already have a pre-built farm. So we'll see what we end up finding here.
take a look where we're at. So we made it over here. This comes with quite a bit. It says only one field, but if you look at it, it actually comes with a grass field. Another one back here we can plow up. A couple more. Really, I'm right here. Let's go through this cornfield and see what's on the other side. What is the empty spot that shows on the map just the timber? Alright, I got a little secret. We gotta do here. We're just gonna go right into flight mode. And he wasn't kidding. It is timber. Pretty nice timber too. Okay, so that's a nice pond area there. Tobacco dryers. There's some more grass. Let's just go up a ways. See what we all got. Um, I like the one right next to the starting farm, but there's some back there. Can we get over here pretty easy? All right, let's, uh, we can't hop there. We know this is the animal dealer. I think I might start in here somewhere. My first look down here by the animal dealer. Which is non viable well it is viable, but it's comes with all these other patches. And I think all these other patches are uh stores or something. Because if we look here, we're looking right at fire station and Alright, so this spot right here, this is what I'm looking at, field, fire station, house, and then the road, same way with right down there. So I'm going to say that is houses rather than, uh, rather than farmland and anything, and the timber is still around it. I might edit the farmlands a little bit here, but let's jump back over into the animal dealer area. Which, animal dealer, buy it, if you buy that, it comes with all that stuff. You can't, well, you can buy it, but it comes with everything else. So then again, this field, and that is a pond, I'm guessing. That is not a pond. Looks like a little rock quarry to me. Moonshine hideout. I feel like he did really well with this farm, or er, with this map. And with everything tucked away back in its little spots, I could manage building a farm pretty much center of the timbers. I'm looking right over this way. This cluster of fields. Nice little um, paths, roads, more paths to get to anything. And I'm just trying to see where I'd be. Okay, we're in that field, that field there, comes up, um, looks like there's a main road here, but it isn't actually a road, I wonder what that is in real life, because here's a road, since it's the real map and everything, oh boy, oh boy, I'm still lost to where I want to start my farm, actually, 
That's a nice field. Not crazy expensive. And it's there's the main highway with a little line coming off it. So, with that being said, that ain't even a main highway, is it? Alright, let's zoom back in a little ways. I mean, is that power lines? That is. So that must be a main power line um, in real life there. That's why there's no trees. Makes sense now. My biggest thing is, if I buy this cluster of fields, which I really like, you could start a farm back here pretty easy. I'd almost need to start one right in here. And it says, you buy that farm, and you get a chunk up here also. Interesting. I like that, though. Come off of the main road, and you got a little house back here, and you can buy these fields up in this general area. I just got to take a little closer look at it. Nice pond water. Oh yeah. I wonder... Eh, good little open storage shed. And see it said you got the lane coming back with this little section. It is expensive for no farmland with it, but look at all the farmland you got around it. And do my little animal setup back there. I could throw another shop here. And, I mean, just, if you get looking into this, it's pretty easy. Alright, so let's see where we're at on crop-wise. We're in mid-August. So dang near everything is ready to harvest. You got corn and soybeans that will be ready here in a couple of months. Alright, we're going to look through the map quick. Fruit types. On which fields I want to make sure I'm buying. That's oats, that's pretty good. The maize, or the corn I guess. That looks like either canola or soybeans. And that's my biggest thing, is I got to make sure I got something that is going to be relatively soon. So if I go with oats, and then I'd be able to get wheat and everything else, I could start right into baling. And then there's plenty of grass fields here. Ready to harvest grass. Alright guys, so once again, Large H released this Greystone map out in, the, I think, North Carolina. If I remember correctly and besides changing some farmlands around I think I have figured out where I'm gonna start a farm and where I'm gonna play this will be a really fun build with all the timber and everything around now one other thing I wanted to look at was what's he have in here for um what am I trying to think Cell points. Wheat and barley go uh, pretty good in winter. What's corn and soybeans do? Yep, we'll have to have storage for all this. And with my new bends that I put out today, we'll have to place quite a few of them down because I can only hold one at a time. And these are relatively easy. It'll be the most expensive part I will have to buy will be the actual house. So with the next video I'll have edited some of the farmlands and we will be building my new farm on Greystone, North Carolina. Until next time, you guys. Thanks for watching.